Measuring turbidity sounds complicated, but it's probably one of the easiest and most accessible water quality tests out there. Turbidity is the amount of stuff in the water, more formally known as the total suspended solids. The more suspended solids, the greater the turbidity. Measuring turbidity gives us an indication of the water clarity. For the Puget Sound, turbidity is a great way to assess how much primary production or plankton might be present in the water. There are a couple of different methods for testing turbidity. We will focus on how to use a Secchi disk. To be clear, the Secchi disk is named after its inventor, an Italian astronomer, Angelo Secchi. It is not a sucky disk. Here's how it works. Arrive at your site with the handy dandy Secchi disk. Docks work great for this test as a way to easily access deep water without needing a boat. Once you're at your sampling site, figure out how you'd like to do this test without falling into the water. I like securing my toes under the dock rail, but you may prefer to kneel. Either way, a life jacket is probably a good idea. Now you are ready to measure turbidity. The Secchi disk is on a calibrated line with a mark every half meter. Slowly lower the disk into the water until it is no longer visible. Record this depth. Next, slowly raise the disk until it just becomes visible once again. Record this depth as your second turbidity reading. Average these two depths to get your final turbidity reading. You are welcome to repeat this test to ensure a higher level of precision. As you can imagine, your measurements are subject to a handful of variables and might change from person to person. This variability is due to factors such as the sampler's vision, the intensity of sunlight, and waves. If you can, measurements should be taken at the same general time between 10 and 4 p.m. in the shade and in calm waters. Repeated measurements by other observers can aid in determining the relative accuracy of your turbidity measurements. And with that, you've measured turbidity. Congratulations and let us know if there's a location you're interested in monitoring. We hope that this instructional video comes in handy on your next turbidity endeavors.